Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2020, question 14. A circle C with radius R lies only in the first quadrant and it touches the x-axis and touches the y-axis. The line L has equation 2x plus y equals 12. We need to show that the x-coordinates of the points of intersection of L with C satisfy 5x squared plus 2r minus 48 times x plus r squared minus 24r plus 144 equals 0. So let's think about the circle first. It lies only in the first quadrant and has radius r and it's touching both axes so it must look something like this. As it's got that radius r and is just touching the axes it must be to have a centre at the point r r. So the equation of this circle must be x minus r squared plus y minus r squared equals r squared. We can find out the points of intersection now by rearranging our line equation. So 2x plus y equals 12 gives us y equals 12 minus 2x and substituting this into our circle equation. We're now going to square the brackets. So x minus r squared is x squared minus 2rx plus r squared. We've got to be a little bit careful on the next bracket, squaring this as there are three terms, but let's work it through a term at a time. So I'm going to start by multiplying everything by the 12, the first term. So 12 times 12 is 144. 12 times minus 2x is minus 24x. 12 times minus r is minus 12r. We'll now multiply everything through by the minus 2x. So we get minus 24x plus 4x squared plus 2xr. Finally, multiplying everything through by the minus r gives us minus 12r plus 2xr plus r squared, and that's still equal to r squared. If we now bring the like terms together and cancel one of our r squareds on the left with the r squared on the right, we get that 5x squared plus 2xr minus 48x plus r squared minus 24r plus 144 is equal to zero. Now the second and third terms there are both multiples of x, so let's factorise that out, which gives us 5x squared plus 2r minus 48 all times by x plus r squared minus 24r plus 144 equals zero as required. We're also given that L is a tangent to C, so we now need to find the two possible values of R, giving our answers as fully simplified thirds. So if L is a tangent to C, it means it touches it exactly at one point, hence there's only one solution. So thinking of our quadratic formula, if there's only one solution, then the B squared minus 4AC part must be equal to zero, where the A is the 5, the B is the 2R minus 48, and the c is the r squared minus 24r plus 144 part. So putting those into that equation gives us that 2r minus 48 or squared minus 4 times 5 times r squared minus 24r plus 144 is equal to 0. Expanding these we get 4r squared minus 192r plus 2304 from the first part minus 20r squared plus 480r minus 2880 and that's still equal to zero. Collecting like terms we have minus 16r squared plus 288r minus 576 equals zero. These are all multiples of 16 so let's divide through by negative 16 to make the r squared positive. We end up with r squared minus 18r plus 36 equals zero. We can now solve this either by using the function on the calculator use a quadratic formula, you can complete the square, completely up to you, but we'll end up with an answer of r equals 9 plus or minus 3 root 5. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.